Kia ora team and welcome, I'm Ruben from Link Solutions and in this session we're going to be covering how to remove work in progress from your completed jobs. Your work in progress balance on your completed jobs should be zero. At the end of each month it's a good idea to check that your work in progress on your completed jobs is zero so that we can ensure that we haven't forgotten to generate any invoices or forgotten to um, conduct a whip wash up on any of our completed jobs. So here's how. To identify any work in progress balances you have on completed jobs we're going to go to business and then work in progress inside our Zero Practice Manager. From here, if you select list, you'll see the current work balance of all of your current jobs. However, we just want to see our completed jobs, so we're going to add a filter to this by selecting the little blue triangle and new filter. We'll give this filter a name, something like whip on completed jobs. Where it says any text, we're going to select job state is, we're going to select all of your completed job states. If you have uh, more than one completed job state, then select all of them like I do here, and save. So these, this is all the whip on my completed jobs. The balance of this list, this list should be empty at all, at all times. So the reason these jobs are sitting here is either A, we've forgotten to generate invoices for them, or B, we have forgotten to do a whip wash up on these jobs before completing them. So once a month, it's a good idea to run this filter just to identify any jobs that fall in those two categories. Now. Um, to check if we have uh, forgotten to generate an invoice for a job, open up the job like so by holding down the control or the command key, and this will open up that job in a new tab. Go to the financial tab here, and just check that you have an invoice sitting in here, or all, all the invoices you would expect. Here I can see there are no invoices, so it's likely we've forgotten to invoice this job. I'll then go through and complete, uh, create an invoice, um, and then do my whip wash up by selecting remove from invoice list. That would then remove it from this list. If um, we have generated um, all of the invoices on this, you can individually open up these jobs and do your whip wash up by going to financial and remove from invoice list, but there's a much faster way. You can go select all here and remove. It's gonna ask you, are you sure? You can say yes. If you do that once a month, that will ensure your whip on completed jobs is zero. So what we covered there was how to remove work in progress from our completed jobs inside Zero Practice Manager. If we do that on a regular basis, at least monthly, we can ensure not only are we remembering to invoice everything we should, but we're also applying the write-ons and write-offs that we should be against each of our jobs on a regular basis. That'll lead to much more accurate reporting. So hopefully you found that worthwhile and I'll see you in the next session.